Righto, Toyota Gems and CES has started with a wolf, a big wolf. Because Lenovo, have they just released a sort of affordable XPS 15 MacBook Pro 16 killer and MacBook Pro 14 killer, I guess you could say. Not that that exists yet, but clearly taking some inspiration of what probably Apple might release because 16 and 14 inch, 16 by 10, we're talking the latest AMD 5000 series CPUs. We're talking the latest Intel CPUs. We're talking next generation 3000 series RTX graphics cards. Wolf, 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 16 by 10 displays. And this is just the start of CES, so there's a lot more stuff to come, so make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you want more CES coverage. And there's some other killer things with this. Let's just get straight into it. Looks like they're starting off in March. I guess it will depend on when AMD released the 5000 series and Intel, Nvidia released their next generation products. I guess we'll be waiting for those to come out before these laptops come out, of course. Now, they did release some other products. This IDPad 5G and Lenovo, Tab P11. It's a Qualcomm thing. It's got 5G, which is cool, but it's going to be running Windows ARM, not a native operating system. Won't have native apps. It's going to have like 20 hour battery life, but yeah, nah. Don't touch it unless you really need the battery life or you just, you know, have basic, you know, productivity uses. Something about Alexa, which I couldn't care less about, but let's have a look at these things here. These idea pads. Now, there's two versions. There's the AMD version and the Intel version. You may think, well, the Intel version is going to have the better GPU and that. No, this is not the case in this case. It looks like the AMD is getting the flagship stuff. So this is the 16 inch you can see here in storm gray. It looks cool. I like that. I like that sort of wedge sort of thing there. You can see the screws. It sort of looks nice. But remember, when I done the XPS 15 and 17 review, I said, your laptop will look like this one day, but it won't be for a while. Here you can see a 2021 laptop still does not look like the XPS 15. You know, big bezel, big chin. I told you it's going to be ages before laptops catch up to the XPS 15 in terms of industrial design with that, you know, all infinity edge display. But anyway, 16 by 10 display, awesome i'm loving that wi-fi 6 of course it has some eye care built in which is always good we'll talk about the ports in a sec but you can see there obviously an sd card reader full size and there's two versions or really four versions there's a 14 inch 16 inch amd and intel version of each so the 14 inch 1.45 kilos and the 16 inch 2 kilos sort of standard fare there intelligent cooling they're saying the cooling is good and you can press function plus r and then you can get all these like battery saving modes like quiet modes and stuff like that they'll be at most display 2.8k on the 14 inch the display is very interesting because we've got high refresh but maybe they might have missed out on some other stuff i'll just talk about that in a sec 2.8k which is good because you know high refresh rate display and the batteries aren't that big so you know it's better that it's lower resolution better battery life i guess now the intel version mx450 this is the 14 inch i'm talking about 90 hertz refresh rate 400 nits of brightness now they are 16 by 10 displays but 400 nits brightness is pretty good i would say but it's 100 percent srgb it's not a wide color gamut so it's not quite the 500 nits that you'd expect in a you know an xps or macbook pro so they sacrificed a bit of brightness for the high refresh rate and it's got a lower resolution as well which the mac has a lower res anyway so what would you prefer the wider color gamut or would you like the 90 hertz i mean of course you always want it all but you can't have it all and then the 16 inch has a 2.5k display 16 by 10 ips 120 hertz but 350 nits so for me this is a non sort of starter here in fact the 60 hertz model seems to be the same sort of spec so i'll probably just get the 60 hertz model but 350 nits in the age of you know displays being about 500 nits again it has the high refresh so high refresh makes perfect sense on a gaming laptop but on a content creation laptop unless you're doing like high frame rate stuff 120 hertz sort of doesn't make sense but some people might prefer the 120 hertz over the brightness um i guess it's up to you both of them say up to 16 gigs now 75 watt hour battery on the 16 inch and a 56 watt hour battery on the 14 inch so the 14 inch should have good battery life 75 watt hour battery on 16 inch yeah, it's 
sort of smallish so i don't think you're going to get good battery life on a 16 inch i'll get into the specs of the intel one in a sec but there is an amd version right but even the intel one has the latest parts right on the 14 inch it's 11th generation on the 16 inch it's 11th generation but it's the h parts so it's the new one that hasn't even come out yet so these h parts the 45 watt parts what well, we're assuming they're 45 watts they're going to have better performance per watt they're going to have like 20 percent ipc gains etc then we have the 14 inch with the amd 5000 series as you can see it says next gen amd so that means 5000 series they're going to be killer they're much better than the 4000 series even though the 4000 series is ace the 5000 series is much better same sort of display there looks like and then on the 16 inch you got the ryzen one but here it says nvidia rtx next gen all right so you can see that there next gen nvidia rtx now it doesn't say that on the intel version so this could be the dream laptop you have the amd 5000 series cpu you have the next generation video graphics wow and all right so you got the 120 hertz that's not for me but for gamers i guess they'll love that i do wish they had a brighter display and a wider color gamut display but yeah it should be fine as long as that srgb display is you know color accurate now let's get into the specs all right so these are the intel versions and remember with the 16 inch on the right you do not get the latest generation rtx graphics on the intel version you only get the mx450 which is strange but anyway you can take some screen grabs there i'll leave a link in the description to these uh spec sheets here yep it's gonna have dolby utmost be nice and cool whatever but let's get into the specs and have a look at the ports okay the thing that might be a deal breaker with the amds is do they have thunderbolt 4 that's a thing right let's have a look at the ports on the 14 inch you can see no thunderbolt okay usb type c only and then usb type a's hdmi 1.4b gives me a floppy drive and sd card reader full size so that's pretty cool 1.45 kilos 3.2 pounds uh, 7.9 millimeters thick looks like only one m.2 drive as we can see there up to 16 gigs and you can have the mx450 so this is the 14 inch the latest 11th gen intel so 1165 g7 1185 g7 and it says 2.5 and 2.2 k displays i'm sure it said 2.8 on the other one <laughs> am i tripping <laughs> anyway lenovo are known for making mistakes in these things but there is a difference in display there whereas the 16 inch there isn't that much difference so if i have a look at the 16 inch on the right first let's have a look at the ports and we do have thunderbolt 4 port will the amd version get that i don't know usb type c we have two usb 3.1 gen 1 type a's 1.4 hdmi gives me a floppy again sd card reader there now hopefully the amd version comes with thunderbolt 4 we can see that both these displays seem to be identical the same sort of resolution the same sort of brightness and the same of course 16 by 10s one is 120 hertz one is 60 hertz now for me it's not a gaming laptop i'll go to 60 hertz and save the money but i guess if you're going to be using it as content creation and gaming maybe go to 120 hertz i guess it's good to have the option right but i do wish it was 100 percent adobe rgb or p3 but whatever 4.4 pounds as you can see there 18.4 millimeters uh 1m.2 will this replace the extreme where does the extreme fit in now with this sort of laptop coming here and says so nine hours battery life and look the battery life ain't going to be great on this because um now i do want to point out one thing geforce only mx450 the amd version it said the next generation nvidia card so this one doesn't have that option it used to be the other way around right and we can see here i7 11370h so it is the h part all right so this part no one's ever seen it before no one knows what it is we know it's 20 percent ipc gains should be eight cores it should be a good cpu but one thing i'll show you is even though it's 11th gen now as i said uh lenovo make mistakes but if i have a look here on the left on the 14 inch you have intel iris xe graphics okay now if we have a look here on the 16 inch that logo is missing so it looks like the 11th generation h parts will not get iris xe graphics they're probably just going to have the same old intel hd but it does get thunderbolt 4 now will that need a discrete chip it may do because it might not be built in i mean xe graphics isn't built in 
So why would they put the Thunderbolt in the CPU? I mean, maybe they're just having the core CPU being the same as the 11th generation Sunny Cove architecture rather than Skylake. But it is going to be 14 nanometer. But anyway, we'll see what happens in this space. Stay tuned for more. Uh, let me know what you think about these things. Which one would you go for? I've got to say, the AMD for sure. AMD 5000 series CPU. NVIDIA latest 3000 series GPU. Man, that thing is going to be an absolute beast. Let me know your thoughts. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.